Dinosaur Dump by Tim Miller and Matt Stanton. What happened to the dinosaurs is grosser than you think. No dinosaurs were harmed in the making of this. Oh. In a tiny little valley in the prehistoric era, the dinos didn't have much, not a mall or a theatre. It was a simple life, but they had a giant loo. It was way up on the hilltop, and today it had a queue. Early every morning, Betty made her daily trip. She felt a sense of great relief as she sat down and let rip. Terry was a T-Rex, and he ate a lot of tripe. But with his teeny weeny arms, he couldn't really wipe. The loo began to rumble when Harry went plop, plop. He thought it was his belly, but he couldn't make it stop. The day was getting hotter. As Sally took her turn, she peered into the swirling bowl and hoped it wouldn't Burn! The loo was getting smelly. Sally didn't flush. But big old Brucey didn't mind. He just added his green mush. Things were really smoking now. Dark clouds filled the air. As Dave bent down and went to squat, he said a little prayer. After Vic's big gym session, and his high-protein diet. He simply had to jump the queue, which nearly caused a riot. Daisy wore a gas mask to keep out the growing stench. But the smell got her anyway, and she tried hard not to retch. Tash the pterodactyl dive-bombed the mountain loo. The splashback was tremendous, Ah, uh, but there was nothing she could do. When little Mike headed up and sat upon the ledge, his itty bitty baby poop caused the most distress. The toilet began to rumble. The valley began to shake. The dinosaurs were terrified. Their world was about to break. Mike raced down the mountainside, stinky lava at his heels. It was disgusting, hot and smelly and looked vaguely like their meals. So next time someone asks you, where did the dinos go? You can tell them that the story is grosser than they know.